Okay, we are officially starting. Uh, welcome everybody. I am Heather Lorenz. I'm the Visual Arts Manager at the Northfield Arts Guild. And thank you so much for joining us for this virtual reception of a whole bunch of art, this year's Honors Art Show. Um, I want to start by thanking the Minnesota State Arts Board for their generous support of the Northfield Arts Guild. And thank you to all of our members, donors, and sponsors. Without your support, we couldn't do what we do every day to make great art happen here in Northfield. Uh, for over 10 years, the Guild has worked closely with Catherine Nori to produce this annual exhibition. And each spring, I really look forward to working with all of these students to see what they've developed over the year and the artwork that they've created. Um, I am consistently blown away by the high caliber of the work that you all create. Um, especially this year, we were determined to reimagine how we could, um, how we could still showcase this, uh, these artists and celebrate these students. Um, and even though this exhibition looks and feels different than in previous years, um, we're still able to see it through the photos and the videos on the Guild's social media outlets and on the Guild website and through new for this show, uh, the first ever catalog, um, and that is also on the Guild's website. I will mention that many of the artworks are for sale um, the, uh, through the close of the show this Saturday. And any purchases uh, support both the artist and the Guild um, for any questions regarding the purchase of artwork or any questions about that, please contact me, Heather, at northfieldartsguild.org. Um, I'm going to the next slide. I'm so glad that you joined us for this show. Uh, we're starting with the welcome. Next, we're going to, um, oh, I want to mention that we are recording this re event so that you can view it later on the Guild's website, um, along with the photos and the exhibition videos. Um, during this event, all attendees are welcome to utilize the chat box so you can send messages to the artists. And uh, we're going to be hearing next from Catherine Nori. She's going to be sharing some reflections on the class. And then we'll introduce each artist and they will share some thoughts with us. So please take it away, Catherine. Thank you, Heather. Um, and thank you to my 17 artists. This night is for you. This is a night to celebrate your work, your accomplishments, your time in the art department that really showcases how incredible you are. And you know, to show up here and to be with us and to share a little bit of insight into your art, I think is what we are all here to do and to enjoy. Um, I have the same butterflies in my tummy that I would have if we were actually together at the gallery. I think about how I'd be hugging all of you and I'd be taking pictures with you in front of all of your artwork. And so as I look at you in these little boxes, I want you to know that I'm hugging you and I'm, I'm loving you up from a distance and just think the world of all of you. So I can't wait to hear what you have to say about your artwork. Um, we're gonna be graced uh, with words from these artists. Um, I've given them three prompts, three things that they can think about talking about they can talk about their work, the body of work that they created, which you see as it's passing by. Um, they can talk about being in this class. Um, and I even offered up the challenge of talking about being in this class in a pandemic, um, which is never going to happen again. I'm putting it on record. It's never going to happen again. And um, thirdly, they can tell you a little bit about what they might be doing in the future what their plans are. And, and artists have been told that they can answer any, all, part, some of all those questions. So I'm really excited to hear what everybody has to say tonight. Um, I've missed these people terribly. I haven't seen them for a week, over more than a week. So I'm really excited to hear their voices and hear what they have to say. So I will be announcing people in alphabetical order and every artist has about two minutes to share some remarks. Um, when it's close to your two minutes being up, I'll, I'll try to keep track with my timer. I'll put up a little five and that'll maybe signal like five seconds. So if you can see me in the box and I do this, it'll just be a silent way of me giving you an indication that you're, you can wrap it up. So, but I think you'll have plenty of time. So if Miss Maddie Anderson would start us off, with some comments about the work, the show, your future. We would love to hear it. Thanks, Maddie. For my pieces and honors art, I decided to focus on endangered species and their habitats. I personally wanted to learn more, but I also hope that other people think more about these animals and their habitats too. I chose watercolor as my medium because that's why I'm most experienced with 
and it's also what I enjoy the most. As for the class itself, both Mrs. Nori and my classmates are absolutely amazing, and I'm so glad that I got to work alongside them even though it wasn't in person for the whole semester. Despite being stuck at home, it, I always felt very supported by my classmates and Mrs. Nori, so I thank you guys for that. Honors Art has helped me grow in so many ways, and it really has been an interesting yet amazing semester, so thank you all. And also thanks to Heather for making all this happen. Thank you, Maddie. That's a perfect way to start. That was so great. Uh, Jack, Duffy, would you please go next? Yeah, so my series was on um, medieval and ancient warriors. Um, I didn't really have a super good reason for choosing that topic besides that I've always been interested in that kind of stuff. Um, I think I knew going into it that like no matter what I chose to do for the topic of my series that um, I just try to challenge myself a lot and that's more what I cared about than uh, like what the topic was. Um, but my medium was watercolor because that's definitely what I have like done most. And so I, I wanted to take that to the next level kind of. Um, and then for doing like having this whole thing during quarantine, I think it didn't really change like how I did my art because I actually do like most of my work at home rather than school. I just like it's more like peaceful and there's less distraction. So I usually get more work done at home. But I think having um, like creating art and having that to look forward to during the quarantine definitely made it like a lot, it gave me something to look forward to it and like helped me kind of, I could channel that all the energy into creating something, which I think was actually really nice. Um, and then for future plans that I have with art, I'm not really sure if I'll make it a career, but I'll definitely keep doing art just as a hobby because um, like I said, it's just like something that I think is really great and I enjoy doing. So I think regardless of where I go, I'll try to keep doing art. And like Maddie said, big thanks to Heather and Mrs. Noy for like making this all possible and making it all manageable during the, these crazy times. So, yeah. Thank you, Jack. Uh, Greta Foster. Hi. All right. So um, for my art, I did a focus on comparing um, fine art between tattoo art. So I kind of wanted people to see the comparison between some super detailed drawings versus more simplified version and just how like closely related they can be, but also how they change when you're doing different forms of art. Um, I think that Arnes Art has really inspired me to take my art more seriously. And um, in the future, I'm hoping one, to try tattoo arting. I think that would be a really cool experience, but I also am working on starting an art business. So I think just Honors Art has done an awesome job at like making me take myself as an artist more seriously. So a huge thanks to Miss Nori for really like giving me support in Honors Art and just everyone in general giving me support for my art and making me feel like a good artist. And again, huge thanks to making this all work even during quarantine. Thank you, Greta. I'm gonna start crying if we're not careful. Okay, Marcus Hauk. Sorry, hi. Um, I created uh, functional mosaic pieces using uh, wood and uh, tile. Um, and my process was basically I um, cut out the wood. I, I uh, uh, did that at a, a wood shop. Um, from someone from our church got in contact with me. So I was fortunate to be able to use his shop and he helped me create these bases. Um, and then I, uh, I uh, bought a bunch of tile and uh, cut the shapes to my liking and I sanded the edges to make them uh, smooth. Um, then I laid down the tile, I glued it down. Um, and then I uh, put down grout uh, to fill in all the gaps. And then I uh, uh, sealed the grout and then uh, finished the wood. Um, I think uh, making these pieces was something very different for me. I usually do very realistic art. Um, so this kind of put me out of my comfort zone. Um, but I think it was very good for me to uh, do more abstract um, and to use, you know, my creativity a little bit more. Um, I uh, really want to thank Miss Nori. Um, I didn't initially really know if I wanted to do honors art, um, but she 
pushed me and she inspired me to, uh, to join. And uh, I'm really thankful for that because I really enjoyed the, the entire experience. Um, I also want to thank my mom because she's definitely helped build me into the artist I am um, throughout my entire life. Um, she's created art projects for us and she's always been a big presence in my life uh, with art. Um, and then I also want to thank Ms. Nori and Mr. Holmquist for uh, awarding me with the scholarship award. Um, that's very thoughtful and I think the award could have gone to anyone um, because uh, everyone had incredible art. I was just fortunate to get it, um, but I think it truly could have gone to anyone here. So um, thanks again for uh, creating this show and yeah. Thank you, Marcus. Next, we have Signe Hauk. Okay, so for my series, I chose to do to, to focus on the beauty of nature using watercolor and permanent ink on aquaboard. Um, and I think the most meaningful part of being a part of Honors Art was that, I, was that I had the ability to explore my own style of work and create artwork independently while focusing on a topic that I was passionate about and still being able to receive feedback and ideas from my classmates along the way. And also just being a part of a class where everybody is so hardworking and willing to put in, in the time and effort to create meaningful work really helped like motivate me throughout the semester. Um, and then also, some things that I will take forward with me in life because of owner's art is uh, to take more risks and to continue being creative by expanding out of my comfort zone and to also keep surrounding myself with positive people who push me to do my best. And then also in college, I hope to take a few art classes. And I wanna thank Miss Nori and my mom especially for pushing me to be creative and kind of taking my own path with my own unique style and kind of like exploring new mediums and um, a new surface to work on using aquaboard, so. Yeah. Thank you, Signe. Now for Tatum Hauk. Okay, hi. So I decided to work with ceramics for Honors Art. Um, my theme is about pathways um, and how most of us are parting ways and kind of generating our new paths after high school. So I wanted to create work that represented that by creating topographical maps, as you can see on my pottery, um, using a sgraffito technique, which is basically carving into the clay. Um, I've learned and grown so much through Honors Art. I've really enjoyed seeing how I've progressed through the first contract to the last. Um, for me, being in quarantine has kind of been a blessing um, regarding my pottery making because I was able to take a wheel home and throw a lot more pot pots than I likely would have been able to if I was in school. Um, I just want to give a quick shout out to Mr. Holmquist for being such a great mentor and opening up a studio so that I could fire my pots. Mr. Holmquist has been so supportive and given me so much of his time to help me better my technique on the wheel and just have an overall successful outcome. Um, next year, I'm excited to be attending St. Olaf where I will be swimming for my dad and continuing with ceramics. Awesome, thank you Tatum. Next we have Emma Johnson. Hi, um, my goal for this class was to create art with a purpose. I chose to focus on a theme revolving around mental health because it still appears to be somewhat of a taboo topic even today. Having celebrities we all know as a subject draws in the attention and taking a closer look at their daily struggles makes us feel more at ease. Knowing that some of today's biggest names and role models have their own struggles show that we truly all know someone dealing with mental obstacles. I want to thank the Arts Guild for the show, their difficulties and all. I also want to thank my family for supporting my art from my first finger paintings and my, all the way to my most current work. I've always felt confident in my art expression because of the positive feedback I'm so gratefully given. Lastly, I'd like to thank Mrs. Nori and the art department for such an influential last four years. This class has given me the freedom and support to create whatever I want. In that corner of the high school, people can come to an area with no judgment. Critiques have pushed me out of my comfort zone these past few years by sharing personal accomplishments and experiments through artwork and discussing the same of my classmates' work. I wouldn't trade the experiment 
or the experience I had here for any other. Thank you for allowing me to create and giving me inspiration to do so. Thank you, Emma. Next, we have Jess Martin. Hello. Uh, so uh, my body of work consists of photographs that I took during my time in Honors Art, um, as well as photographs from the beginning of my photography adventure up until Honors Art. And the reason I chose to incorporate some of my older work is because I wanted to not only show how my photography has improved um, just within the last few months, but also demonstrate how diverse the art of photography really is. Uh, most of my older photographs are unedited natural landscapes and objects or travel photos. But during Honors Art, I pushed myself to test out editing and Photoshopping in post, as well as just new techniques with lighting and exposure. Uh, this is meaningful to me because I just proved to myself that I can always push myself, I can always strive to improve, and that if I really um, put in the work, I can accomplish that. Um, as an artist, Honors Art has drastically improved my skill and my self-confidence. Um, the freedom to do whatever I wanted during the semester uh, has been uh, something I've been waiting for for the last like, four years. Um, but when it really came down to having to actually come up with um, my contract ideas, I immediately began to doubt my abilities as a photographer and artist. Um, however, with Mrs. Nori always supporting my crazy ideas and suggesting ways to make it more me, I found the confidence in what I wanted to do. Um, I'm so grateful for Mrs. Nori and Mrs. Hauk and Heather um, for putting in so much time and effort and all that driving you guys did to make this work out for us. Um, but I think this whole experience has really taught us how to be a tight knit um, group of artists that work together and support each other all while sitting in our own beds or at our own desks at home. Uh, and next year, I plan on attending the University of Minnesota Twin Cities and majoring in graphic design with hopefully, hopefully a minor in photography or film production. Um, but my main goal after high school is to work towards a job where I can travel, support a family, but most importantly, love going to work every single day. I take inspiration from Mrs. Nori on that note. I want to love my job as much as she does one day. Thank you. That couldn't be more true, Jess. This is not work. I never go to work. I have fun every day. Naomi McCabe. Okay. Um, so... The pieces I made for Honors Art is 10 pieces of clay, and I decorated all of them using a trailing pot process with black glaze. Um, one of them actually, is, I incorporated in, and it was my first piece I had done using this process. Um, and I think that was really exciting because even like a week before our we had to turn in our applications for Honors Art, I didn't even know I was going to be doing clay. Um, but I became really excited and it means a lot to me because everything that I put out was such a good representation of the vision I had for it in my head. And I think it definitely represents me as an artist because it took a lot of patience and a lot of planning, but it came out as very full and very exciting. Um, as far as working in quarantine during our honors art class, it was hard to be away from my other peers who have always been a help with my artwork and to keep pushing me to try different things with it. But I learned a lot with myself as an artist because I was able to set my own timelines and work on these pieces that I truly appreciated and was proud of myself for at the end. Um, though art won't be a career for me, at least not planned to be, I hope to have a studio of my own and a wheel of my own to keep working on pieces in a new way or the same way that I do now. I for sure wanna thank Mrs. Nori and Heather and for all the work that they did, but I think my biggest thank you definitely goes to Mr. Holmquist. Um, he was just amazing, not just throughout a quarantine and letting me go to work in his studio, but since I started as a pottery student and he has taught me everything he knows and I'm just super thankful for him um, and he was just a big part of me putting this show out today. Thank you Naomi. Grace McDonald. 
Hi, so um, I create polyamor clay jewelry, um, so wearable functional art. Um, polyamor clay, I mix all my own colors um, and then I create all my own pieces uh, to attach to my earrings um, or in some situations I will paint my earrings uh, with acrylic paint as well to create designs. So that's kind of what I do. I'm wearing a pair of my earrings right now, so <laughs> versatile, wearable. Uh, fun art uh, that I've had a really fun time enjoying or I've had a really enjoyable time making um, and how this class has really inspired me and helped me is I've now been able to turn my art into a small business um, so I do have a website where I sell my art um, my Instagram account is designs that simply grace and my website is design simply grace.com um, so if you're interested in some more pieces uh, that's where you can find me so that has been a huge step in my life is creating and becoming an owner of a small business and that's been huge and I definitely would have been able to do that without this class. Um, next year I'm headed to the University of Minnesota um, to the Carlson School of Management to study marketing and business um, so I'm super excited and uh, working through building and creating a small business has definitely taken me in a step in the right direction um, where I've been able to combine my art and my love for business as well. Um, so I have loved being part of this class and a huge thank you to Miss Nori who definitely inspired me in the beginning when I was a little doubtful um, if my art counted as real art um, since it's so different from other forms um, of artwork that are usually in this class. Um, so that was really helpful and huge for me and uh, for everyone for working so hard to put this on even given our circumstances has really meant a lot to me and to a lot of us given it's our most of our senior years. So thank you. Thank you, Grace. Next, we have Chloe Melgren. Hi. Um, so I decided to paint water designs and reflections with watercolor and ink by using micron pens. Um, I decided to paint these because I've been around water almost my whole life because I've been swimming competitively for almost eight years. And I've been going to the lake at my cabin a bunch when I was young, even younger than that. Um, making art, art has been a source of a source to decrease stress, especially during this time. It was disappointing not getting the whole honors art experience, but it is very unique and I'll never forget it. Um, I will hopefully be taking some art classes in college as well. I'll be attending Carthage College and majoring in biology and environmental science while swimming there too. Um, and lastly, I want to thank Heather, Mrs. Hauk, and Mrs. Nori and this whole class for making it such a great and fun experience. Thank you, Chloe. Next, we have Allie Mikuleski. Allie, I think you might be muted. Okay, I unmuted myself, so. Um, when I first started high school, I actually had no intentions of ever taking any art classes. Um, the only art classes I wanted to take were anything that counted as an art credit to finish my art credits for high school. So joining Honors Art has definitely been weird. Um, I actually kind of joined it on accident. But um, yeah, the whole purpose of my paintings is to look closer for a deeper meaning in something that looks like it could be so serene and so peaceful. Um, working in quarantine has definitely been good for me. I'm very introverted, so I really liked being able to be home and work by myself and just create whatever comes to mind. Um, next year, I plan on being on in honors art again um, as I'm a junior, so I won't be quite done with high school yet. Um, I don't plan on making a career out of my art, but I do plan to keep it as a hobby. Thank you, Allie. Next, we have Abram Noble. Yeah, so um, I paint watercolor boats, mostly because I think they look cool and they intrigue me. Also, because it's some, like, I wish I could experience, like, riding on a boat, and I could with Lake Superior and all, but um, I just haven't gotten the chance. So hopefully, I can do that, but I'm kind of just living that experience through my painting so far. And then, um, what else? I have, I've really enjoyed honors art mostly because I've spent these four years of high school with the same people in all of my art classes and just seeing them grow and helping 
each other grow as artists and having these great art teachers to in, like encourage us and <clears throat> really inspire us. And then my future plans, I will be attending the University of Minnesota and I have, I'm still kind of questioning what I'll be doing, but I'm interested in graphic design and or web, web design. Thank you, Abram. Next, we have Audrey Pagel. Audrey, you might be muted. Well, Audrey might be having technical difficulties. Yeah. Do you want to uh, join oh. in again? Uh, oh, Sorry. Audrey says her audio isn't working, sadly. She will join her family. Okay. Yes. Well, all right. Okay. Heather, if you have good ideas about how we can loop Audrey back into this, we can um, figure it out. Maybe if she goes to a different device. Yes. Okay, Audrey, we're not forgetting about you. We're just gonna go to the next and then we're gonna come back to you. So get on with your family and maybe a different device will have better audio. Okay, so let's go to Clara. Alrighty. Well, I did bookmaking for Honors Art and I didn't really decide to dedicate my entire project to bookmaking until like the first day of quarantine. Um, but I realized I had tons of time to just experiment with and yeah and I had this old art history book that had just separated from the covers so I kind of looked at the spine to see how to sew and glue pages together so it was really just for fun and really experimental um, and I don't know I just made a bunch of books and it was yeah uh, and there are two sort of separate groupings of books I ended up making there are hardcover oil painting ones about more of the my personal artistic experience, and then there are soft cover acrylic paintings that are travel journals. And uh, I still have glue all over my floor that I can only see when the light hits it just right. So that's really fun. But it was just a really fun experience. And I like to say that being an art department kid has been the greatest time for all of high school. And it's really defined who I am as a person. And I think because I've had such a great time being at the art department is why I wanted to go to art school next year. And so the last hour of our last day of in-person high school, I got my acceptance to the Rhode Island School of Design, which is sort of what inspired my first books about the artistic experience, because all I could think about was how the next foreseeable future was going to be dedicated to art making. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Thank you, Clara. Next, we have Kira Price. Okay, so um, I plan on attending UW-Stout in the fall to study professional communications and emerging media with a minor in graphic media and print, so that way I can still have fun exercising my artistic side. And as far as my art goes, this collection of trading cards I use micron pen and watercolor. And all my pieces are meaningful to me because I took inspiration from some of my favorite and my siblings' favorite childhood cartoons, books, movies. And I just kept in mind some of their design elements and like their whimsical styles. But overall, I wouldn't have been able to create this collection if it weren't for the positive feedback and encouragement I received from Miss Nori and the rest of my class. So. Thank you guys. Thanks, Kira. And next we have Marta Sorensen. Hello. Um, so my all my art is black and white, which I started originally doing um, ink paintings just because I really like working with 
the ink and I would like dilute it and then um, make layers. And I thought it was super fun and I really liked the smell of the ink. So some of my paintings, some of my things are paintings and some of them are prints. Um, but I was taking a printmaking class while I was taking honors art and I like realized I really liked the black and white printing. So I started doing a whole bunch of that because it was really simple and effective and I just like really liked doing it. So um, most of it is prints that I like. And my like subject was just like everyday life, like what was happening to me. Like it was almost like a diary. Like I was just like, when something happened, I would like make a little print of it because the printing was really like effective like I said before so I was just able to like show what happened and I thought that was super fun and it just kept me entertained and I really like doing it um but next year I'll be a senior so I'll be taking honors art again and continuing doing that and figuring out like what I'm gonna do after that because I really have no idea but we're just gonna figure it out as we go I think art is definitely gonna be a big part of my future and I really want it to be so I'm just gonna see where it goes and figure it out because I really like doing it. It's how I express myself and I just, I like it. Thanks, Marta. And it looks like Audrey is ready to go. So if we can go back to her slides, Audrey, we will let you have your words. Hi, can you guys hear me now? Is it good? <laughs> okay, good. Um, so I'm Audrey, uh, sorry about that earlier, but um, I just wanted to say thank you to Heather and Mrs. Nori and Karna and Mr. Holmquist for everything you guys did and to my peers for all the hard work you guys put in and you guys uh, really just made this quarantine a lot easier uh, having you guys and all of your support and I can't express my gratitude for having you all um, with me through this. Um, and so my body of work was uh, three potters that we had. Um, it was really great to have other potters in the class this year to uh, bounce ideas off of and everything like that. Um, so I produced small unique scenes onto white clay and I carved them and then I colored them using uh, layers of different types of glazes. Um, and my favorite part of having this as a technique was being able to put whatever meaning I wanted to into the pot uh, itself um, and then still have a cohesive look at the end of the day with all of the pots together. Um, and producing art through this crazy time was not the easiest for me personally, as I love um, bouncing ideas off of my peers. Um, but it was great to have uh, honors art to come to twice a week, just to talk with everybody. Um, and it was also great to have art as an outlet to clear my mind. Um, and I just wanted to thank everybody again. And I loved having you all um, as a supportive group through this time. Um, and next year I'm attending Cornell College in Mount Vernon, Iowa. Um, I was offered an art scholarship um, and I'm super excited to have art as a big part of my life um, forever and I have you guys as a support system forever and thank you so much to everybody and Mrs. Nori for being such a great part of my life. Wow well I want to say thank you one more time and then we'll probably have time for questions or comments or however a digital reception happens we'll just pretend we have punch and brownies and we'll just walk around hugging um you have all proven to me how to do really hard things during the most seemingly impossible time like you have set this bar so high right can you imagine i mean you did this all in this kind of crazy quarantine world where we're in isolation but we're kind of together digitally and you just you gave me hope I looked forward to our classes every week so much and it was it was at times hard to be a teacher during the quarantine because all I was doing was talking to a little green dot on my screen and not always knowing if it was making sense or if other people really understood um, but whenever I came to your class, you were so engaged and you were so with me and I could feel your energy and I could feel your, your power and it felt so good. It was like the best dose of teacher medicine twice a week. And just, I need to bottle that up and keep that forever because it's, oh, tears, but... I mean, it's, it's like the stuff that could power me through a career. And I have all of you to say thank you for that. So I'm in awe of all of you. 
and you are quite the bar to come up to. So the sun's in my brain, in my eyes, in my brain and eyes. So I'm going to pass it back to Heather, but I love you all. Thank you, parents. Thank you, families, for supporting these amazing young people. Thank you for every Crayola marker you put in their hands. Thank you for every sketchbook that they begged for at Target. Thank you for everything that you do now and you did then. And to the Arts Guild, who is our tireless partner in this. We are so lucky to be in a town where we are given a professional gallery space to use and to cherish. And this is rare. And we will all come back together someday and say, wow, this just isn't normal. I can't wait for Clara to go to RISD and be able to have these experiences. And for people at RISD to say, where did you come from? That kind of stuff is special. It's magic. It's just, it's beyond. And um, I am so thankful to Heather and the whole Arts Guild for giving us this opportunity for the Honors Art Show and the All School Art Show. It means the world to everybody. And to my colleagues, Karna and Chris, wow, we are a team. We are a solid team and we, I, I love us. I love us together. I love that we all bring our own strengths and our own gifts and we, we lean on one another in these times to try to make sure that we're covering all of our bases. So thank you, thank you. And thank you to our town, our supporters, anyone who supports us, just thank you. I'm filled with thank yous, filled, filled. So Heather, I'm gonna pass it to you. Okay. Congratulations, artists. This was so fun to be able to celebrate you. And so I just wanna, let's, I'll do a virtual round of applause. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so congratulations, you should be so proud of your achievements. So, um, and Catherine and Karna, thank you so much for your hours of planning and installation help to make this show possible. And to the artists in your families um, for uh, making all of the parameters, the unusual parameters work to, and being flexible to making this show happen this year. Uh, we're really looking forward to hearing what you're up to and how you're doing in the future, all, those, all of you that are graduates. Um, and I do want to mention um, that this exhibition will stay up on the website and along with the videos and the photos. And so you'll be able to enjoy it in the future. Um, thank you all for coming tonight. This was such a special experience and uh, thanks for letting us celebrate you and thanks so much for joining us. Take care. Thank you. <laughs> Bye -bye. Thank you. Love you all. Bye. Love you. <laughs> Bye.